Hi everyone, it's Chaos Man Class YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'll be previewing Collingwood vs. St Kilda Victoria Park. Now, if you're returning Chaos Man Class, welcome, like, comment, share. If you're new to the channel and you're watching this for the first time, like, comment, share, and subscribe does mean well to me. Um, so. A shout out to Saints TV and Cardman22 who are St Kilda supporters. Um, the, the way that this game is going to be won or lost, I think it's... Personally, I think it's going to be a battle of the, 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 the handballing game and the, the, the kicking game as well. One thing that we, ha that we did do really well against Carlton is that we had Jordan Allen having the ball and and running and and hitting targets in that short um, hit up hit up target. Um, so that's the way that I see how Collingwood are going to do. I think our pressure is well. When we get that pressure on, we can certainly hurt some Kilda on the rebound and and really use the ball really well as well. Um, but we'll just have to adapt. We, we, we have to come out and we have to really start playing well as much as anything. Because we know what St Kilda are like. Um, so I'll go through my top five and and, and we'll just sh straight into it. Now, obviously, we got to back up this performance. It's number one. How we go about St Kilda is that we got to have to hit hard pressure. Make sure that we force turnovers. Let's force them to hack kicks. Let's force them to rush their disposals. Because in that case, the more that we do that, the better that we get as a team. And we work really hard to get the ball in our forward line, keep it in there so that, so that we can have repeat entries of 450s. So what we need to do is really start looking to obviously to lower our ice when we go forward. Obviously, St Kilda's defence, yeah, they can be pretty tall um, as well. We're just going to have to do what we did against Carlton, the hit-up option. So, Brina Frederick, uh, when she does play, she's going to have to hit to take those marks and, and bring the ball to ground if she can't, but also to be a target as well. Now, without Brianna Davy, Jamie Lambert will step up and have more midfield time. Tani Brown, unfortunately, is out due to a concussion um, out of that game. So she, she has to miss because of that. And I think, for me, we, there's only those two, three changes that potential might happen. Brianna Davey, we know that she might be there doing an ACL. So I do feel like we've got the cattle, I think, to really launch into it and really get our tack forward of the footy and really look to open it up as much as possible. So backing it up, we're gonna have to heat up, short heat up options, going quick. If there's a chance going long, going long and, and really look, look to mark um, as, as much as possible. Number two, our back line. Now, our back line's gonna have to do an exceptional job to keep restricting our positions forward. It all comes out to the pressure of the footy too. Let's force and Kilda to go out wide near the boundary line. The reason why for that is that you gotta look up and you can't allow them to go through the corridor because every team wants to play on through the corridor and, and you can try and score. We wanna try and do it. So how what we do is when we can't go through the corridor, is that we'll take the mark across the high back on the wing, and then you can get Ruby Slicer or someone like Jamie Lambert to run up into the space of the corridor, take the mark and take that ball and go along inside 50 as well. And that's gonna create the chances of going fast and quick into our forward line as, as much as possible. So that defense is gonna have to really force St Kilda under a lot of pressure. It has to be hat kicks forward. So it has to be high bombs 
in that forward line because as we've seen, we've got Livingston, we've got Ruby Slicer, who can cut St Kilda's up, forward line up, and really try and look to force some tough options as well. And the more hat kicks are going St Kilda's forward line, the better it is for us so we can intercept the ball. Um, so when we intercept the footy, it'll be a lot better. No, number three um, is an, an, another option is our forward line. Our forward line's really going to have to fire a shot as well. Carmelai and kicking three behinds. Um, just wanted to to at least kick a goal as well. She's so dangerous in front of goal. She plays like a Jordan Degoe type. You know, style as well, where she can play in the midfield, but you can put on the half back flank as well. Um, Sabrina Fredwick is that option as well that you can play. So I think what we might need to do is, is obviously we'll play smart when we go forward. A few times against Carlton, we did bomb the ball in as well, and we panicked a little bit. When we start looking around and looking for the options, we can certainly take that game on as well. Um, as much as possible. Number four, it, 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 the tactics. The tactics and the game plan. The, the game plan has to be, and and I feel like, is to, to force and kill it off into a mess of turnovers. I overuse the handball. The only way that they can get through a press is by kicking them out of the defence. The more panic handballs that St Kilda have, the more tough it's going to be. Because you can kick the ball into space and really look to launch as well. That's that's what I see St K us needing to do against a, a side like St Kilda as well. Because we know how good they are as well. We can't underestimate them because they'll come out and looking for revenge. Number five is just playing more than two quarters. Now, that's the key to our success. We're going to have to really start launching and, and really start showing, okay, we're going to come out, but we're going to make sure that we play more than two quarters and really play it on our terms and make sure that St Kilda can't get that easy easy goal or they can't win a, you know, that first quarter. Because if they win more than, if they win two quarters and we win two quarters, I've got belief that we can do it, but it all depends on how we're going to play as well and, and how St Kilda are going to play on, on top of that. So that's the last one, I think, as well on top of that. Um, I'm going to say Collingwood by 28 points. Uh, 27, 28 points. I think Collingwood Loy will kick two. I think Sabrina Fredwick, I think she'll kick her first goal in black and white colours as well. And I think Jamie Lambert's going to have 20 disposals and a goal. And Ruby Slicer, 18 disposals and 6 marks as well. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, go to the Mighty Pies and let's bring on the Saints. Now, unfortunately, it won't be there. We've got something on that day as well. But we'll be watching this game very close and intently as well. Until then, bye for now.